first map of the final series of the night. It's Team Liquid versus RBG. Getting things kicking with this pistol. The buys come through for that CT side. And who's going to be the man with the kit squid? Nobody. Oh, no, it is Naf, in fact. Well, this is RBG heading over towards apartments very, very early on. They're actually taking a lot of control. They're not slowing down for anything right here. And as the Glocks start to charge through, getting into short and the apartments waterfall, this could do some damage. Certainly could. The double stack inside the pit. Naf. Oh, the first to receive that damage. RBG. They absolutely snowball onto this A site, finding four kills for their troubles. And now a one versus three for the man with the plan. It's Grim himself. Sensational with the pistols as per usual, but has the USPS. Quite a colorful one at that to try and take control of this one. The pit all isolated. And this becomes fairly difficult. He needs to find a snappy headshot to get us started. And that was his opportunity blundered there, unfortunately. Comanche from the pit area doesn't give away his life. And I think that might just signal the end of things for Grim right now. Only this USPS, of course, wanting to break these crossfires. He knows exactly where Wiz is playing from, but unable to eliminate the rest. 1-0. A really fantastic start from RBG. I wasn't expecting them to take the pistol here, but in doing so, they now have a chance to string some more off of it. If they can win this buy round, of course, they got that bomb plant as well in the pistols. They're actually going to have a lot of cash to work with here. They're going to have the rifles to go with it. The AKs, the Galil's coming out, and they should be able to convert this one. 1-0. Here is where things start to get tasty. Pistols in hand. For the Team Liquid members, and obviously not wanting to let this one go sooner rather than later as Banana becomes the aggression, the first point of control. Wilco 14 HP, Hexed also tagged as well, but that flash is flawless. Able to find at least the first, and Team Liquid certainly pressured inside the apartments. RBG, Inferno perhaps a bit of a surprise pick, but nothing really being a difference maker thus far. With this man advantage going RBG's favour once again... They don't have to make any commitments right now, and I like to see that they're not doing so. They don't have to charge into this A-bomb site. They can wait a few seconds, make sure that no more aggression comes through, and then commit to it. And as Naf spots out the three men, that's going to initiate Grim to go for this peak. The flash allows them to fall away, potentially peak, but that's not going to happen. Now it leaves it all down to twists on this site to try and find himself some frags. The Deagle Master previously. Let's see if he can do it here. He gets himself the first. And the second. What the hell is that from Twist? A third kill comes through and he's spamming away for the fourth. This round has been completely turned on its head. And Gamanchu left all on his lonesome in the pit just with this MAC-10 in hand. How on earth has this gone so horribly wrong for the T side? We saw it in ESL Pro League, Josh. And once again, it's Twists to come in clutch. What a performance with the Desert Eagle is Gamanchu. He's down on his luck, down on players, only 5 HP, nothing to work with. Only this MAC-10 in hand, and he is running out of time right now. There's the cross, and it's instantly eviscerated. What the hell was that? I am just completely gobsmacked. Somehow Liquid have managed to pull that one right off. I talked about the fact that Twist has done some real damage with the Deagles in the past. And right there, he pulls off an absolute masterclass. Levels out this scoreline one-to-one then. And as we go into the third round, this is where RBG need to try and bounce back. Sensational. Twist is always the man to watch out for with those one-taps. So much talent on this Team Liquid side. And pulling things back already. That's why they go for the four spies, especially on a map like Inferno, Josh. Early in this one, it's RBG back to the pistols. No body armor either. Not wanting to double down on this aggression and try and take the fight to Liquid first and foremost. This is where Banana becomes the pincer. Oh my, the MAC-10 doing loads of damage there for Grim. Nothing for RBG to bring into this one. Of course, this was pretty much an eco from them. Really not investing a whole lot into that round. So it is going to go Liquid's favor quite comfortably, but... It was somewhat of an investment. They had some Kevlar. They had a couple of pistols there. So it is going to mean that they are going to be forced down to another eco here. Just 3k in the bank. Maybe a couple more P250s. A little bit of utility comes out. But it should be a firm third for Team Liquid. And after losing that initial pistol round, that's something that you really don't expect. 
Certainly not. And, well, realistically, RBG have very little to work with in this one either. Trying to double dip on the aggression, and it just doesn't work out for them. Team Liquid taking a tip out of the same book. Perhaps is Grim is going to slaughter them with this MAC-10. Maybe expecting more of a buy and misreading the economy, but that doesn't matter nonetheless. It's just extra cash for the taking. Gamanchu maybe gets himself a couple of consolidation frags here. Maybe a second. Not going to happen. Just takes Grim out. That's only going to be an SMG gone as well. And he's already made that money back. Three kills in that one. Quite comfortable stuff for Liquid. Look at the bank right now. Twist, 6k. A liege, 6,500. Five and six on Stewie as, and Stewie and Naf as well. So really not being all too phased by this. As they go into the fifth, it's going to be a full investment. The AWP in the hands of Naf as well. And they want to punch in some more damage, assert their dominance early on here against RBG. Sensational stuff. The AWP comes through for NAF, of course. As mentioned before, he is that shining star with the AWP. We often see Stewie pick it up as a secondary. Not in this round, though, as the AK-47s come to force for RBG in second mid control. Well, just these AKs in hand, the utility to back it up as well, and twist. He's got this grenade. As soon as he deploys it, oh, it does... A little bit less damage than I was expecting, but damage nonetheless. Minute 20 on this clock. RBG looking like they are going to stack up towards this A site. Not committed to anything as of yet, though. That bomb's been left in second mid. They could certainly retrieve it and backtrack. But at the moment, just looking for this opener to try and make their mind up. This is where things get incredibly touch and go. Bit of mid control. No frags found as of the minute mark. And the AK-47s haven't come to avail as the clock ticks down even further. Plenty of utility retained for both squads. I expect RBG to maybe collapse onto the B-bomb site. Perhaps that's where the C4 is kind of stacked. And as they recede down middle, it is going to be Grim initially taking the challenge. The M4 in hand, and they're going to cross right past him. Heavy damage dealt. Stewie next to receive the challenge. He's got that Galil in hand, and he is going to be found early. A three versus three retake as Team Liquid about to come through. RBG have somehow managed to snatch away this bomb site, And as that C4 starts to go down, Elise can't punch in any damage through that smoke. But the retake is hot on its heels. They're so close here, and it's only the utility to keep them at bay. There's one le Molotov left on Hexed right now, and as soon as he deploys it, that might keep Team Liquid busy for a few more seconds. But this is where the retake starts to come through. And as the flash goes over, precious time being bought, precious damage being dealt as well on the Liege. And now they have to come through to re-grab this one. Nah, with a nice tech nine headshot, twists with another. Wiz, he hasn't got much time to hold up here. He just needs to find himself a couple more kills. And in getting the first, that might might just secure things. That is incredibly awkward. This is going to be incredibly close cut as well. I think Elite just has it. The Clutch Master for Liquid comes in once again. Not the most difficult task, but certainly low on time. That's 4-1 Liquid. Wow. I thought they left that too late. What that utility usage from RBG there was absolutely perfect. Those flashes and those Molotovs just keeping Liquid away really, really added that spanner in the works. But Somehow Liquid managed to push through just at the final millisecond, get that bomb defuse in with one tick remaining, puts them four to one, continuing to apply this pressure, and RBG falls right back down to the pistols once again, and it's an aggressive B push to respond. Oh, shut away by Grim and Stewie. There's the first pair of shots, incredibly pivotal over on the B bomb site. Their defense usually rock solid. It comes in clutch once again. At the 90 second mark, only one frag found from RBG. As they can slow things away, create a stalemate, and try and find another one of these rifles. I don't think NAF's dropped AWP is up for grabs. As the smoke's placed, the Liege is pretty much secured and ensured that. And expects very little further damage at the 72nd mark. There's really not a whole lot that Wiz and Gamanchu can really bring into this one. Maybe this MAC-10 punches in a little bit more damage on Stewie. He's really that lone man towards the B site. And with Grim coming in for the reinforcements, he's only on 12 points of health. So there's certainly potential for this MAC-10 to make this one costly. But right now, the round's certainly not in contention. Four versus two. The bomb, it's still in RBG's territory, but it's absolutely miles away. And they have absolutely no equity. They have no control towards either of these bomb sites. So wherever they want to try and end up, they have to fight hard for it. Sensational start, especially after losing the pistol, and I don't expect RBG to do much more in the sixth. This really starts to get scary 
as they head into the A-bomb site once again, having to contend with the leech first. Such a hard man to fight off. He's the second best ranked player in this tournament, and he secures the fifth. He's absolutely showing us why as well. He has been absolutely flawless throughout the entirety of IEM New York. And in this final series, even though it doesn't really mean a whole lot to them, they are still in a firm spot to take one of those playoff places. He's still going to put up his best performance. Now, as we go into the seventh, it is going to be a full investment here from RBG. We see that AWP come out on Wiz, healthy utility on every man accompanied by the rifles. As they start to head towards Banana early on, they want to try and take this gunfight. But with the Molotovs raining through, that might be difficult. Oh, Naf hasn't been spotted. The Flash Fortunate forces him off the angle and back to the A-bomb site. Once again, the smokes for Liquid slows RBG to a halt. Team Liquid are forced right back here. They are actually going to fall onto that B-bomb site. They no, wanna, no longer want to contest this banana control. They really don't have uh, the remaining utility to expend to do so. Of course, you look at Stewie and Griff. There's uh, Stewie and Grim, sorry. There's only a single smoke grenade left on Stewie 2K, and he wants to use that when that push starts to come through to keep it at bay, buy some time for the reinforcements to come through. So holding these deep angles, they're relying on the gunfights right now. And as things start to get hot and heavy over towards that A site... Ready to see some engagements early on, and it's Hex to find the first. A minute on the clock. You expect even more, and Wiz is there to provide through that fading smoke. A leech just out in the open gives them the brief window of opportunity. Speed control should be on the cards now in Grim. We know he's good, but unfortunately, he's going to be challenged on his lonesome with the rotate a million miles away. I almost expect him to just fall instantly, and then Naff and Twists have to save going into the 30-second mark. And it's Hex providing all of the headshots. What a sensational round. What a sensational round from Hex as well, just individually. He found that initial pick, a beautiful headshot to do so. And then right there, Grim could have absolutely made that one dangerous. If he'd have got that double spray transfer, then all of a sudden it becomes a, four, a three versus three. Absolutely doable for Liquid to come through and justify that retake. But instead, just a snappy reaction to tear his head clean off. And that is going to be the round for RBG. I actually really like the way they played this, of course. Poking in for a little little bit of initial banana control, baiting in that utility from Team Liquid. And then within the first 20 seconds of the round, Stewie and Grimm had no utility left to work with. They were forced right back to that B site, and that gave an open opportunity for RBG to take banana control for free and press on and just take those aim jaws with the, with, with the numbers advantage heavily and just completely overwhelm it. Really, really strong stuff. I really like the way they played that. Yeah, and it's all down to Hex, as you mentioned. Two snappy headshots, ends the round in its tracks, and a big momentum switch here for RBG going into round number eight, a round they really needed against the favorites. We don't think they've got a massive opportunity here in this group stage or in this match in general. Team Liquid stonking favorites here in Group B, I am New York. They've applied the pressure thus far, not really merited many negative results thus far in the tournament, and they might be able to put a, another massive win up on the board. Hex, do you always want him at the front of the pack? And, well, that's not exactly why. Stewie's able to take him away as the pincer comes through. Still a defense of two. It's Stewie, a liege, both there to hold up the line. Twists, in fact, tucked towards the back of the bomb site. It's Stewie instantly falling, unfortunately. A liege is next to follow, and a triple entry from RBG puts this down to not even evens, as Team Liquid might just have to bail once again. I've got a feeling, though, this fire and star power might want to shine through one more time on the A bomb site. No, they want to keep the AK and AWP alive. Bit of utility to go through into round nine. Liquid, they had the far favorable positions there. They had a fantastic setup towards that site as well with the Liege playing behind that box. He goes unchecked initially, but somehow it just gets completely crushed. RBG certainly putting up a fight here on Inferno. As we go five to three, Liquid, of course, saving a couple of rifles. They will have something to work with in the next, but surely dipping right into their reserve cash to try and buy around it means that this is going to be the final buy for them. If RBG can convert this next one, Liquid will be forced down to an eco, and that's where the scoreline can go level again. And this is where things get dangerous. Team Liquid, a buy round. Full utility, those incendiaries become of the utmost importance. 
towards the end of this first half. We're kind of at the midpoint right now and getting into another fiery series. We expected the first to go 2-0. This one we certainly expect to. We got all three maps and quite the stonking series up to start. And now, oh, it's a whiz to actually open up. Stewie pumps the aggression. There's the gas. Now perhaps the brakes as he's even up the numbers. It's a ballsy repeat for Stewie to go for there to recontest that control. A beautiful headshot found onto Alco, but Elise jumping up onto that boost gets a little bit of tag damage from that Molotov and knows he can't overstay his welcome. With Naf finding another over towards top mid though, that swings the numbers back in their favor, forces RBG right into this A bomb site, and this is where the gunfights come through. Oh, there's the initial kill as well. Once again, all of the entries twist the next to fall. Maybe falling back would have isolated this into a three versus three scenario. But RBG, this T side is really starting to find some legs. A fourth round on the board. And maybe this is where Liquid need a tactical timeout. They need to bring Moses into the equation. He can get involved in the discussions. And maybe a bit of a change of pace here. We were expecting a lock solid first half. This has been anything but. Double digits, certainly on the cards, but not much longer. The kill's coming in, and almost the three versus two found for Stewie as the pistol closes in. He's not got much time to get this one done, and Pony there to close it out. A fourth round found. What a round from RBG as well. I really feel like that was off the back of a couple of liquid mistakes there. You see that set up with Naf and Twist over towards that A bomb site. Twist falls right back as soon as those smokes start to come in and it isolates Naf. He has to take those close range fights with the orb. Twist then realized that he's kind of ditched his teammate, pushes right back through the smoke and it gives RBG just the perfect opportunity to take that close fight against the orb, then take an easy engagement onto Twist who's just burst through a smoke. And that's all they need. Those two openers, that mistake Take from Liquid is RBG's ticket onto the bomb site to get that C4 down and close it out in the end. Puts them onto four, probably five here as well, as Team Liquid are just on these pistols. Unless one of these guys can make a crazy play with the Deagle. We have seen it previously. Let's see if we can see it again. Yeah, it's usually twists with those headshots. We saw a massive triple kill on the A bomb site to start off this series. Could certainly see it again. Stewie, there's the opening frag. He gets pumped in the head by Hexed, who's been quite the headshot machine on this T side. Starts us off really strong here in round 10 up against the Pistols. Expect Team Liquid to swiftly fall. And three for their troubles really does end the round in its tracks. Don't expect much contest or fire out of the end of this one on Inferno. Nah, just prevented by those smokes as well. That's the end of this round, Josh. Yeah, it's one of those rounds that you really don't anticipate Liquid to bring a whole lot into, and they absolutely don't. Oh, the AK is just completely dispatching of them. Grim all on his lonesome. A very nice headshot with that 5-7 onto a Wowco, and even another one coming through. So some nice damage punched at the end there, but RBG won't be too phased by that. They've got 8k in the bank of many of these players, and they're just going to be able to reinvest. We sit 5-5 five to five here on Inferno, a very unexpected scoreline. We were expecting this to be very, very one-sided, and so far, that's not shaping up to be the case yeah i'm not getting too scared for two liquid at this point but without the double awp setup they've got to do the job with all five m 3 fours in hand this could certainly spiral out of control knowing inferno very momentum based map it's rbg's pick you'd have expected them to put the practice on remember there's loads of liquid demos up for grabs they played inferno many times just this month and obviously on it once again lots of opportunity for that coach the ingame leader just to get into the servers get into those replays and really start to anti-strat liquid i don't know if that's what's been thrown into place but it's way easier said than done remember it's not like you can just open a liquid demo and instantly beat them on one of their best maps if we could, I think we'd be doing it, Squid. But right now, RBG are giving it a good try. Wiz with that AWP in hand as well. He's been formidable, even with, with or without that AWP in hand. We've seen him get some really, really nice openers with that rifle. Now in the 11th, wants to try and do the same. He's posted over towards Banana, hoping for some kind of aggression from Grim. Regardless of whether they get it, there's a real opportunity here for them to just push through, find this single man, and overwhelm this B-bomb site. Team Liquid have gone for a bit of a gamble stack on A, and RBG seem to be reading it quite nicely. Certainly. This B-bomb site has been under contest a couple of times. Finally, Stewie 2K joining the back. 
And realistically, he has been playing that arch position. Not being the best pincer thus far here on Inferno, but certainly wants to be that second fiery star right here. Straight through the smoke, fully blind is able to steal away Hex. Such an important frag to find is Grim playing around these smokes, being quite the sneaky ninja, only finding the first. And there's Stewie again. The smoke criminal robs away another one. Pony and Wiz now need to get the job done. A two versus four, though. This pressure firmly applied in what already is a heated series. Wiz right on top of these boxes. is going to steal away the first. Unable to receive the trade. Is it Stewie with the 3k instead? Pony eliminated. Team Liquid to take their sixth. That's a really nice retake from Liquid. We've seen them make quite a few mistakes here in this map so far. They're not making any here. They really recover that one nicely. The orb's been sorted out as well towards the back of the site. And actually, they don't opt for it. That's a bizarre one. Just keeping these rifles going. No one wanting to pick up that sniper. That's bizarre. That's something I really wouldn't expect. I feel like the money becomes a real pressure here. I don't even think anybody could even afford it anyway. Stewie he invested the most of the money here. He had $4,400. I really don't think it was that much up for grabs. Twists, no, he couldn't have afforded it either. He had $3,850. There was no money up for grabs there for the sniper. It was at the back of the site. That's what I mean. It was oh, spotted it was on B site and he didn't pick it up. Okay, yeah. that's really interesting. It shows that Team Liquid, they're adapting on the fly here. They're wanting to play with these five rifles. Very pivotal moment in this game. Taking Naf away from that AWP. Maybe feeling like that's a bit of a weakness here. Potentially so. Stacked up with these rifles. They're actually going for this 4-1 setup once again. Grin, the lone man on this B site. The anchor to try and hold this one up. But this time, RBG aren't giving him the opportunity to call in the reinforcements. They've taken this banana control early. The Molotov forces back anyone that could be playing close. Stewie is on that fast rotation. So he's already here to support from CT. But a single smoke grenade adds a spanner in the works. And as this nade start to wane over, Stewie needs to reposition and try and shut this one down. But Grim's doing all the work. Finds himself too hungry for more, but it's not needed. Did. The smoke's in place. What on earth is that from Stewie? He's burnt and his own teammate's Molotov. Stewie feels like he's got fireproof shoes there, but certainly not. Nobody's invincible. This is Counter-Strike. Wiz, he's got the angle. Cannot connect that shot, but needs to find three here to even up the scoreline once again. The AWP in hand, the crossfire placed, and it's Grim there to finish from the back lines. Three kills for him. What a sensational round again. That's absolutely flawless for him to find those initial two. Chuck in that Molotov as well. That Molotov's basically supposed to help Stewie to, to fall away without anyone swinging him from CT. And instead, Stewie peeks into it and burns alive. It's a real bizarre one. I think the bullet punch as well made him a lot slower, made it a lot harder to fall away. Nonetheless, Liquid are able to take the round quite comfortably. It forces RBG right down to another one of these Ecos and an opportunity for the CT side to take the eighth. Yeah, I almost expect this pretty much definitely to be a 9-6-10-5 half for Liquid. I can't imagine them letting more slip here. RBG, that's off to them to take such a successful start, but I really don't think five's enough here. Looking for six or seven. We know that that Liquid T side is going to be brutal. Map like Inferno, it's incredibly open. It does come a couple of frags. Hex there to start off the initial engagements towards Banana, but the damage has already been dealt. Twists pumping in those final nails to this coffin. I think this round might be curtains. Eight to five might just be the inevitable scoreline. I find it hard to believe that RBG will get a, a even a bomb plant here against the double set play. Grim's been such a great member in Naf behind that tree. Oh, I'm made to eat my words. Naf and Grim made to eat bullets as we find another two versus two once again as Hex steals another one. What a sensational performance on the banana. That's a quad kill. Searching for the ace against Twists. We know he's good, but now he needs to get back into the B-bomb site with only a little bit of utility up for grabs. And there's Pony to finish. And Rang RBG had no business in winning. That is absolutely mental from Hex. It's a huge 4K to come through. And... 
people might say like we're, we're, we're over hyping RBG here, but it's plays like that that show what they're capable of. Hext has no business, as you say, in winning that one. And somehow he comes through with two sensational headshots. It opens up that B site. He can then backtrack. He's got the read of the wraparound coming in from Banana. He's able to find that one as well and bring things into a two on one in his team's favor, despite the fact that it was a four on two just a few seconds prior and somehow swing it in his team's favor. It's seven to six now, a huge opportunity for them to close this gap even further and potentially even win this half. Seven to six. And this is the way back in, of course, against just a couple of pistols. AK-47 set the ready to contend, and I expect that banana control to be a staple of this T-side once again. Team Liquid, they've really let this T-side slip, if you're being perfectly honest with yourself. The AWP at the ready for Wiz. Expect this to be quite the rollover round. We know those pistols are potent, but I don't really expect too much here. A liege, the first to fall. Just these pistols in hand, it's going to be a, a quite a comfortable seventh here for RBG. I can't imagine that they let anything slip here. Maybe these deagles in the hands of some of these CTs, especially in the hands of Twists, he's shown that he can really, really punch some damage. RBG are very aware of that. They don't want to just charge into a site and give him the opportunity. Instead, they're throwing in these Molotovs. Stewie swings out with a BT-50, not able to get himself anything. And Grim all on his lonesome with that USP on the B site. Can't imagine he can get a whole lot done either. It's going to be a relatively swift round for RBG to take. And in doing so, it's going to put them 7-7. Seven to seven. What a hell of a first half. So sensational here. Grim twists. Don't expect they'll be able to find more than even just one kill here. And through that smoke, you see the pressure RBG are applying. Just the Deagle at the ready. We've seen him do this before, but it's not going to happen there towards the end of this first half. 7-7. Seven, seven. I really wasn't expecting such a close opening map. I absolutely wasn't either. Of course, this is RBG's map pick. So this is really their time to shine. And if they're going to win anything, it, it's got to be here, yeah? If they can take Inferno, I will be very, very surprised. But it gives them a good start here in this series. And it's even one to be proud of, even if you can take that single map against Liquid. We've seen a lot of very, very one-sided series so far in IEM New York. There's been quite a skill disparity between the top and the bottom teams competing. But RBG showing that maybe there's not such a gap here between them and Liquid. Right now, minute 30 on the clock. RBG have already taken this early banana control. And they're not even going to commit through it. They've just got the, all of this legroom to work with and they're just going to sit comfortably with it. Stewie will take that initial peek and only a couple of bullets tapped on through before backtracking. Doesn't need to take the full face against Wolko. And with 31 HP, tail tuck between legs has to fall back to the rear of banana. Playing this one really slow. Minute 10 still on this clock. They've got this banana control. They've even got Gamancha as well, just holding over towards second mid to make sure that there's no wraparound coming through for Liquid. So they can just buy time here. They can wait, see if Team Liquid make any mistakes, allow them to expend more and more of their utility so that when this execute comes through, there's no counter Molotovs. There's no smokes to go down. Liquid aren't falling into that trap just yet, but with 45 seconds on the clock, this is where RBG start to put their foot on the gas. Time running low, and that is one of the final incendiary grenades in the reserve team liquid. The other on twists towards the say bomb site. Stewie gets caught back, turned, surprisingly steals away a frag anyway, and then there's Grim to swing in for even more, and another headshot. This B bomb site has been porous for liquid thus far this series, and now they need to try and retake it one more time. Pony's the first man to hold this aggression. Attention diverted by the AWP, but liquid fine both nonetheless. Wizard 1 versus 3, and I don't expect this one to happen once again. AK headshot, there's a second, and Wiz so close to finding this one. Just misses a spray on the third. Naf's able to defuse. Liquid come out of this first half, one round up. I was expecting so much more here from the favourites. Doesn't come in, but I think even 8 might be enough on Inferno. We'll head to a quick break before that second half. You certainly don't want to miss this second half of Inferno.
It's a kind of lie, and I know that I won't change your mind. We have no common ground, and we're never gonna figure it out. So don't get friendly, get angry. I'll bury you down by the bar. So don't reach out, and I mean that. I'm under siege, and I need you to see that you're on one side, I'm on another, and we will wage war upon each other. A warm welcome to the war game Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the second half, RBG versus Liquid. We're going into that secondary pistol. Well, as we kick things off, it's going to be the kit in the hands of Gamanshu and the nade on Hexed. It's actually Naf and Twists on that T side, the utility man, as they head over towards the second mid fast. With the bomb as well, they want to try and take this control, find themselves an early pick. So far, nothing found, though. Ali's already into the bedrooms and looking to contend with the CZ75 up close. Pony runs out of ammo and HP as he's the first to fall. There's the nade to contend. RPG might want to go for this second swing onto mid right now. Wiz has to be incredibly careful. They've, of course, got the crossfire placed. But Liquid, just backtracking into the apps, could certainly go from a, from a blast from Balcony. 
You've got Grim, maybe the first to receive this aggression. And as the smoke goes through, expect the pit burst to come through. Hex takes Naf. RPG a one-man advantage. As the a site take comes in, the full rotate, it's fully on the way. They're just stepping on the gas. It's Grim finds another. The bomb yet to go down. Still 50 seconds on the clock, though, so time's certainly not the issue for Liquid. As the boys in blue secure another bomb plant here. On the pistol. So many this tournament, of course, on this T side. They've been incredibly oh, successful. And that's exactly why the pistols chiming in in unison. Nine rounds for Liquid. That round wasn't really going their favor, of course, with Naf just trying to make that distraction play towards the top of middle. He gets eliminated instantly. RBG were in a prime position to shut that one down. But the smoke coming out of apartments gave Liquid the opportunity to drop down into pit, get up close and personal with those Glocks, and a beautiful double headshot from Twist as well, just to put the nails in the coffin. Seals the fate of RBG and puts that ninth round on the board for Team Liquid. As we go into the 17th now, they've got all the firepower to work with. And they're faced up just against a couple of scouts and a single SMG in the hands of Hexed on this RBG side. Phenomenal stuff. And banana control from Stewie2K. RBG deciding to play the most passive of defenses on CT. We've got the double defense over towards this B bomb site. Pony Wiz, they're the double set piece configuration. Scout in hand and looking for these initial kills. Bomb still not committed for Liquid. Bomb's still been left towards the bottom of Banana. That's a real smart play. You don't want to be charging in with that C4 in hand and losing it. It then gives RBG an opportunity to just swarm around that bomb and lock it down. Instead, they retrieve it. They want to head over towards this A site. The nades start to rain over. Here's where the execute comes through. And RBG have to deal with a whole load of firepower charging through short and long. The scout's able to do some tag damage, but not much good for more. What a sensational round there from Liquid. Three quick kills. Just that scout just chipping in for a little bit of damage, but not much more else. There's twists. He's the only man to fall here. RBG, I think they just have to backtrack this time and save the scout P250 combination and carry it through to the next round of this half with a little to work with instead of nothing and just USPSs. Absolutely. This scout and P250 is certainly... A whole lot more than, than what they'll have in the next. So backing it up, that full eco with that extra little bit of uh, firepower might be able to do some damage in the next. This is going to be 10, though, for Team Liquid and a real nice start to this second half. I've got to say, this is where Liquid can really start to apply the pressure. They can now control the pace and the momentum. They've got that T side. That often becomes your biggest advantage, especially when you've got fiery momentum-based stars like Stewie. Also picking up the calling, remember, kind of for the first time in his career, often playing under the guise of, remember, Fallen most recently over in Brazil. Obviously playing a lot of North American Counter-Strike under a lot of different brands dating back to the major winning Cloud9 roster. Here on Liquid, it's him picking up the calling duties, remember, and this is where things start to get, yeah, really touch and go for him and important. Ooh, very nice couple of headshots to open things up. Grim with a really snappy one-tap. Now it just leaves it down to Pony. That P250 in hand. He has got the Kevlar to back it up as well, but just trapped in the corner behind this second orange's position. Can't imagine he can get a whole lot more done here. And as he falls, Grim lands another fantastic headshot in the same position as well, just in that underpass angle. Hext is the one. Third time. Lucky. Not going to happen. Twist finishes him off. That's going to be 11 now for Liquid as they've started to find their footing. They found their groove here on Inferno and they're pulling away. They're using it very nicely. CT side of Inferno, such a tough, tricky mistress, and RBG finally realizing why those angles so tough to contend when you've got the firepower up against you. Those players like Grim finding headshot after headshot, even against pistols, it just looks so clean. Finally, those M4s will come out into practice. Hex is one of the few players in this North American scene we see using the M3-1S. It's not so used at the pro level. Let's see if he can find some headshots with it. 
Well, rifles all round. Actually, a pretty matched buy as well. You see a couple of Galils still here for Team Liquid. We see the FAMAS in the hands of Gamanchu. The difference maker is, is that Team Liquid have got loads of cash in the bank to back it up, even if they can't convert this one. They've got the momentum behind them. They've got the utility on every man as well. And as they're stacked up outside this A site, the smoke's weighing in. Grim wants to try and take this initial fight, but gets caught with a Molotov in his hand. Hex is able to find that opener. And Wiz with another, even a third as well. This has been completely shut down. Team Liquid still with a chance. That pick control salvage from Twists puts Wiz in a tricky, sticky situation looking for this frag and it's a USBS to mop him up. A minute left for Liquid. Time isn't the pressure. So that bomb can come through. HP for Nap is a real problem maker. Can play the head glitch angles on this site, but definitely needs to dodge the Molotovs. And that firefight from Pony, the double kill to take. That firepower disparity just seemed to be a little bit problematic there for Liquid. Taking those gunfights with the Galils didn't pay any dividends whatsoever. And here in the num round number 20, they are going for the full AKs. Utility on every man. That one he headshot potential rifle on every single player as well. And for RBG... Considering they took so many casualties in the last, they can't go for such a healthy investment. Despite the fact that they won the round, it's the M4, an AK, a couple of FAMASs, and that MP9. This is going to be a difficult one for them to hold on to. They can't play the range advantage on three of these men. Molotov's down. There are the nades to follow. Team Liquid not walking into this. We often characterize the CT side based on how much grenade damage they're able to do in RBG. Don't pan out successfully this time. It's an even Stevens trade advantage. Literally one HP between these two teams. Minute 20. Team Liquid prioritizing the B bomb site. Now deciding to backtrack after throwing that initial utility through. Not going to force the rotate of Walco. But with 70 seconds still to play with, expect this A bomb site to be on the cards. Yeah, I think they were really hoping for Wilco to rotate there, but it did quite the opposite. Instead, the actual rotations are coming through from this B bomb site. And as the smoke starts to rain on A, this might be the play all along. They're actually backtracking right round to Banana. And it's only going to be Gamanchu with an MP9 in hand holding from CT to contest it. You see that Team Liquid are making no noise right now. They don't want RBG to know that they've wrapped back around towards B. And in doing so, they have this element of stealth that they're going to use and abuse as they execute this site. Fantastic sleight of hand from Team Liquid. Leaves only Gmanju waiting for this aggression and nobody to hold up this B-bomb site. C4 should certainly go down here and the MP9 poses zero resistance. Here comes the retake. I expect the four versus three could certainly pan oh, out no. successfully, especially with a bomb dropped inside the mini pit. Gamanchu able to find the first in Team Liquid cannot scramble back. Maybe keeping these AKs alive becomes the priority as the double set piece doesn't fall on deaf ears and it's Pony another 2k to end this one as well. A ninth for RBG. That's a huge blunder from Stewie there. He's not holding the smoke over towards Connector. Uh, sorry, not Connector, Coffins. He's not holding the smoke towards Coffins. And as it starts to dissipate, when the bomb starts to go down, that MP9 in the hands of Gamanchu is able to push right through and deny the plant. And that completely messes things up for Team Liquid. They then have to try and retrieve that bomb, get it back down again. There's absolutely no way that's happening as the retake's already coming through. And RBG are able to put themselves onto nine, keep this one in close contention, and probably take 10 as well here as they're just faced up against the pistols. This has been so much closer than we initially anticipated. Digging our teeth into the business end of this matchup. Inferno might even go the distance at this point. RBG posting quite a successful CT side. Again, a standard defense. The 3-2 setup. Not much actual coverage on this B-bomb site. Needless to say, that shouldn't be the final approach for Liquid. They've got three players in the bomb towards this A site. As the AK-47 chimes in, that cuts away one of the initial players, Alige, the best player for Liquid throughout this tournament. With him gone, they have to try and get the work done with just four pistols in hand. They face up against three men with the rifles and probably soon to be four as the rotation should come through. 50 seconds on this clock as Hex finds another and Wiz is just able to quite comfortably dispatch of the long push. Walco has to come in for the support, but four players staying alive. Nap is able to get himself one back, even the second as well. That's a mental headshot for him to find, but still a two versus one situation. The bomb in no man's land as well. This is going to be a difficult one, but certainly doable. Oh, 
It's constantly these deadly Desert Eagles for Team Liquid as Naf maybe wants to prioritize the B-bomb site with an M for A1S, a weapon he's not always used to carrying in hand as he executes towards the curly letter. The first man through would have been Pony, but certainly doesn't want to crutch into this one isolated. Instead, going to rejoin Hex here who's been the better player for RBG here in this series. Nades over the top, but that's the utility already thrown as they will just close in on this silenced M4 towards the back of this B-bomb site. Naf tucked inside of Dark. Needs to light the spark. RBG, they walk both in, and that's the double headshot to close. What the hell is that from Naf? He's found himself a four versus one. With just a Deagle, no Kevlar, a round that Liquid have no opportunity in, he should have just been dispatched of ages ago. But somehow lands two crispy one digs, grabs himself the bomb, falls away with it, and somehow clutches up the round. That's mental. In Britain, we call that daylight robbery, Josh. What a performance. Four kills, up to 20 for Naf. As Liquid close in on the victory here on Inferno. Up to 12 right now, and forcing RPG onto pistols, most importantly. Just these pistols to work with. I'll be honest, when we looked at these matches earlier on, I was thinking we wouldn't have very exciting games in store. But this one has been jam-packed with the plays. And right now, Walco, well, he is able to open things up, but Twist Bounce right back. Two nice headshots with that AK, and that's going to give them this man advantage and dispatch of those two CZs as well. They were really the dangerous weapons here in the 22nd. This should be a comfortable one for Liquid to take now. If you give Team Liquid an inch, they'll take an absolute mile. And that's what's coming through here at the end of Inferno. Pressing on to 13 rounds and AK-47 retrieve for Wiz. But I think he might even just decide to cling on to this one. Remember exits. Don't become as influential. Especially on to Naf, who's got the money built up. Nobody else really with that cash in a reserve. Should be a successful round for Liquid nonetheless. The double pistols... Need to really find one kill here to do the damage. A buy from RBG in the next, but they want to do some preliminary damage before that becomes a factor. Pony steals away a headshot. That might be all she wrote for this 22nd round. G-Man through that smoke is going to be capitalized and surely nothing he can do at the end of it. Just trying to punch through some damage with that USP, but he's not going to be able to find any of it. Team Liquid now on 13. And this is where they start to get closer and closer to that final number. They can get themselves onto 16. That closes things out here on Inferno and really spoils any chance for RBG in this series. This is their map pick, of course. This is their time where they need to shine. And they have shot. They've put up a hell of a performance, one that we really weren't expecting, but they have to close it out. They have to see it through. Otherwise, it means nothing. Three needed to finish. The AWP finally in Wiz's hands. And no real initial damage done as of the 1 minute 35 mark. Incredibly early in the 23rd round as RBG once again this standard defense. 2 on B, 3 on A with quad being the main factor towards the pointy letter. Team Liquid need to be hyper aware of these boosts. Absolutely this double man stack over towards this B site. Has to try and do the work. It's Pony and Gamanchu to try and hold this one up. And as the AKs encroach closer and closer, this is where it starts to get dangerous. They haven't got a whole lot of utility to work with. And with that Molotov coming through, really forces them out of position. But Gamanchu, despite being flashed, is able to find the two kills needed. The trades do come through. Actually, both of them land. So three versus three. The B side opened up for Team Liquid. And now the rotations have to come through for RBG. Perhaps the most pivotal retake of the series needed right now. It's Wilco holding the lion's share of the utility. He's got a full set, but now you need to press in and pressure the Americans one more time. Naf going to be the first to receive this firefight. This trusty silencer in hand, and it's another headshot to open up the fragment on the afterplant. There goes the Molotov. It's unsuccessful in its pursuit. As Team Liquid not forced out of position, it's the AK instead to finish. Ooh. Once again, another round coming very, very close. But still going Team Liquid's favour. And as they put themselves onto 14, this should be where they can close. Of course, one round needed here to, put, to secure that overtime. And RBG are going to allow them to have it by the looks of things. They're playing for the overtime here. Remember, we go on to Team Liquid's map pick next. It's overpass. I really don't see how RBG have a chance unless they're able to claw this CT side back. And with pistols, 
I think that this might be the curtains closing on this initial map and perhaps the whole series. Liquid closing into Banana. A bit of aggression from the middle of the map, but Wolko spotted. That's the initial frag. And expect Liquid to crunch in, perhaps on this B-bomb site once again. They've got such deadly map presence. RBG cannot capitalize. Pony doing his best happy impression, but unable to find the inner Frenchman. Minute 20. It's not really going to happen for the pistols. Wow, Team Liquid, they've had a lot of success over towards that B site, but this time damage punched through onto Stewie forces them away. Hex is going to fall, but that means that Wiz goes undetected. He's good for one, not quite the second, but certainly damage dealt. Now this A site, though, is up for grabs for Team Liquid, and it's only this single deagle in the hands of Pony to try and stop it. With Twist coming through, oh, he is able to find himself the kill, but not a whole lot more than that. Just the Desert Eagle to try and finish off this one. G-Man maybe just trying to do a little bit of final damage. Maybe even trying to pad these stats at this point. The map looking to be pretty much over 15 to 9. That's certainly going to be on the cards with no Diffuse kit available. I really don't expect this. We saw an attempted Ninja Diffuse in the first series of the day, but I don't expect one right now. Not even the attempt coming in from G-Man Chew. Not going to happen whatsoever. Just the Deagle looking to steal away a rifle, perhaps. Maybe even grab a hold of this AWP. No. Can't connect. 15. 15. Six match points. Liquid, I don't see them letting this one slip. I certainly started having some visions in my head when it was incredibly close not too long ago. But now... I don't know. They have to make a, a huge, huge mistake here to let this one fall away. And they've got all the rifles to work with going into this one. I don't see this one falling away from them. Yeah, and a big statement from Liquid once again as you get into those playoffs. You want to contend with all of these teams over in Group B incredibly decisively before you start facing off against the 100 Thieves, of course. Furia being maybe one of the best, if not the best, in North America right now. And closing this series off, giving yourself a bit of extra sleep to work with. That might be what's on the cards right now. Stewie pressuring into the banana. Might even just be forced forward by the Molotov right now. Waits for the flash. And he is able to receive that first kill. Well, Pony able to trade this one back out. But a four versus four. And look at this. RBG are really contesting this banana control. And if they fall here, this is game over. It's Walco and Pony to hold this one up. With that bomb over towards Banana as well. This is where the rotations start to initiate. Not sure whether it's going to be over towards the B or A sites just yet. But as the bomb starts to make its way towards middle, I think it's going to be the latter. So wrap around towards long. There's absolutely no control here for RG RBG. They just completely give this one up and give Liquid loads of legroom to work with. 40 seconds on the clock. That's plenty. And Wiz wants to shut it down for one final moment on this map. He does with a triple kill. Converts oh for the quad with the AWP as Pit is held down on his lonesome and Liquid challenge for match point once again. That is absolutely sensational. It's still not like in contention just yet. Yeah, give it a couple more rounds before I start to get excited about RBG taking this one to overtime. But what a time for Wiz to step up. His, their backs are against the wall. It comes down to the wire. He absolutely has to perform and he lands himself four sensational orb shots to do so. Now they've got the firepower advantage as well. They've got all the rifles to work with, the utility in hand as well. And Grim and Twist just down to these Deagles and see if they can get the work done with them as they put four men early towards Banana. This seems to be the classic for Liquid. Isolating this curly letter, two on the defense. And G-Man Chu waiting for the flashbang. This could work out perfectly. Everybody blind, but Stewie collects regardless. Pony now challenged to the angle, which Liquid assertively wants to take. A couple of deagles in hand, but it doesn't even matter. The B bomb site taken might be the end of this first map. A five versus four retake. Despite Grim on low HP, I think he can shrug that one away and try and take this one over the top. The Nade Lance successfully and still a flurry and a plethora of utility in hand to try and get back into the b-bomb site the smokes once again to isolate the double player on banana but naf pulls straight on in with the awp and this one should be held through the smokes look at this utility holding rbg back this is never gonna happen not in a million years josh 
The end of the series comes to nigh, and it's Team Liquid taking 16. They recovered that one very, very nicely.